we have a few comical figures i'm choosing my words carefully who want to go outside india and seek the intervention of the outside world to have a regime change in india why because he thinks and he has an uncle there somewhere who is saying nahi nahi look at what he is saying he is actually not uh, wrong are bhai if i ever make a statement no uncle or aunt of mine comes to my rescue i am viciously trolled on social media and because i am in politics now i wear it as a badge of honor so i think people who go outside india and criticize and seek the intervention i am using it within courts of an outside government ought to be ashamed of themselves i think this is the longest i've had uh, an interview talk about uh, someone without naming them so at least i'll frame it in my question this time you're talking of course about rahul gandhi he's been under fire from the bjp and the government in parliament for exactly what i think he said. is going to be under fire from his own party let me make a prediction when you aap aap mein se punjabi kitne hai sari punjabi ch kahawat hai gi hai वो गल कहती है तू मैं मूह चो कट मैं तेन शहरों कटा डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट मे बी लिटल बिट बट वेल आई ट्रांसलेट इट फॉर यू यू नो इज अ लिटल लाइट हार्टेड स्टेट सेंग इन पंजाबी दैट दी स्पोकन वर्ड सेज यू अटर मी यू 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 स्पीक मी एंड आई विल मेक श्योर यू विल हैव टू लीव द सिटी सम ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट ही हेज मेड आर अट्रोशियस and i think the problem is not coming from the bjp it's coming from his own people some were not saying it in public that time and say yaar ye kahan phas gaye wo jo bhi bharat jodne ki yatra mein koshish ki thi wo sari yahan pe yaar nuksan ho gaya pata nahi kya joda tha kya nahi joda tha but you have a problem on your hands i am i must say uh, you have to count your assets and liabilities as far as i am concerned i am quite happy with how he is acting because he is bjp's asset he is bjp's asset i didn't say it you said it i am i'm inferring from what you said you said it i didn't say it i mean i mean at the at the very least the man has uh, what is it called manoranjan value okay but let me seriously ask you the opposition today led by congress party and by rahul gandhi they say that you have uh, assumed the power of all institutions including what's happening in parliament it's not functioning their voices are curbed down of course uh, rajya sabha chair has responded to that uh, that no modi's mics were switched off but the larger question is the opposition believes that there is no democracy as it used to be since bjp came to power why is that maine maine aapko pehle bhi kaha ki bharat ke itihas mein ek hi situation thi june 1975 mein jab democracy ko taala maar ke कहीं किसी अनमारी में बंद कर दिया था दैट इज जून 1975। टुडे डेमोक्रेसी मीन्स प्रेस लुक एट व्हाट द प्रेस इज सेइंग। माय गॉड एंड बिकॉज वी हैव वीक डेफमेशन लॉज दे गेट अवे विद इट लुक व्हाट सोशल मीडिया सेइंग। देर इज नो कंट्रोल ऑन व्हाट सोशल मीडिया सेज यू कैन किक कुक अप एनीथिंग अगेंस्ट एनी एंड एज आई सेड वी हैव एन डिसमिस्ड एनी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज एज vibrant as um i do i to be careful when i use words on the supreme court uh, they are trying to run by metro system they are trying to uh, you know legislate on other areas look we are in a fascinating situation because indian democracy today is the world's largest and the world strongest each institution under our democracy the press the judiciary everybody is trying to come into his own and they will exert themselves but the at the end of the day the mass is wiser and more constant than the prince the people will determine i said in 2019 when they said people said 230 aayenge we did an exercise how many people are beneficiaries of the different schemes that the modi government had introduced and i think the figure was 22 crores कितने हमारे 2019 के चुनाव में हमारे को वोट्स मिले 22 करोड़ एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू नाउ दिस इज एन इलेक्शन दिस इज अ डेमोक्रेटिक प्रोसेस वेयर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज सक्सीडेड इन डूइंग वन वेरी मेजर थिंग ही हैज प्रूव गुड गवर्नेंस इज आल्सो गुड पॉलिटिक्स एंड इफ दीज गाइस कंटिन्यू द वे दे आर 
the next election in 2024 will even leave the others. I had predicted 303 to the, in the 2019 election. I'm on record. And I'm telling you, if they continue like this, then apart from the entertainment value, our figure will be even higher than in the 2019 election. So how much will it be? We are one year ahead of, abhi, one year away from the ek, election. Ek saal aur do rehte hain. Haan. Ka, if it goes on like this, look, this is an era of numbers. You can quantify the progress. I happen to be the Housing and Urban Affairs Minister, and I tell you the Congress government between 2004 and 14, in a 10 year period, they have spent on the urban space, cumulative of all the Kendriya Yojana, sab milake, 1 lakh, 1 lakh 57,000 crores tha. In the 8 years, because uh, Modi ji assumed uh, responsibility in May 2014, the scheme started in June 2015. In the eight years, the figure now, as against that 1 lakh 57,000 crores, is 18 lakh crores. So, unka dasal kitna guna? No matter which way you look at it. Hmm. Let me give you, you know, the talk about petrol prices. Hmm. On two occasions, 2021 November mein, or 2022 May mein, Mananiya Pradhan Mantri ji ne ye nirnay liya ki wo central excise jo hoti hai petrol aur diesel pe usko kam kar denge aur us nirnay ke karan 21 November 2021 aur May 2022 ke petrol aur diesel ka daam 13 rupay aur 16 rupay respectively kam hua aaj sthiti ye hai madam ki BJP ruled state aur non BJP ruled state mein 15 rupees per liter ka antar hai in the, in the petrol prices. 15 rupees in two neighboring states. Aur ye inflation ki baat karte hai. You know the revery politics or loot machai hui hai. And if you look at the actual facts, you will discover the difference between good governance and this thing. Why? Because they were not willing to reduce the VAT in their, uh, which is the percentage uh, ch charge in the state governments. So there is a difference in pricing between 15 rupees and 12 rupees between BJP states and non-BJP states. Speaking of petroleum, uh, you are the Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas and one of the markers of how India has grown in the world and how India's weight has grown in the world is that the government has handled the pressure that has come its way uh, on buying Russian oil for example, post the Russia-Ukraine conflict and you as a minister have faced some of that resistance and some of those questions that pressure from especially the Western countries. Do you want to share a little bit of how much pressure you faced and the how you dealt with it? Uh, Shivani ji, pehli baat to hai, I don't think the Modi government faces pressure within inverted commas. I've never heard of the Prime Minister being under any pressure and I've never felt any pressure. First of all, let me lay the facts before you. India as a sovereign country has always exercise the right to source its energy from wherever it can at the most affordable prices. In the last few years, we have diversified the sources of energy from 27 countries to 39 countries. Till May, till 31st March 2022, we bought only very little energy from Russia. Very little. Yes. What? 0.2 percent. Why? Because obviously much cheaper to source it from your doorstep, from uh, countries in the Gulf which are next door or countries which are geographically more proximate. But